Hello, and welcome to my world. My RPG a day 2021 world, that is. So, for the past eight, maybe nine, maybe seven, but I believe eight. Every August we get, well, the first couple years was a series of questions. What, who, when, where style questions. The past couple years they've led to prompts. Uh, they ask us to express what this word means to us in our RPG community. Whether our RPG community is video games, tabletop, whether it's mech warriors or Dungeons and Dragons, whatever RPGs we are ingrained in, they ask us to convey it nicely and peacefully in a blog, a vlog, writing it, uh, blah, 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 podcast, or artwork. Let's say you want to paint, or if you want to make a scene of something going on, or do a play, express yourself as much as you can with this prompt. August 1st, 2021. The prompt is scenario. My setting is Dungeons and Dragons. That is what we play at my table. So I will be using that setting as my base setting. So when you hear me talk, unless it's the prompt is outside of that talk, I will be talking about Dungeons and Dragons. All right, what does scenario mean to me? When I'm building my game, because I am the dungeon master of my table, the DM, and when I'm building my adventure, I think of a scenario that I want it to be. If I want it to be fun and feel like an 80s comedy where they're at the beach and they got to race rafts down a river or something, I know how I want the setting overall to feel by that scenario that I put up. When I'm trying to describe scenes to players, I may say, hey, remember the scene where the guy was walking out of the tunnel with the baseball bat? It was that World War II scenario. And he's coming out, trying to scare all the Nazis with the bat. I think it was a Quentin Tarantino movie. Yeah, that one. That's what you're getting, you're feeling like right now as this monster is coming down the tunnel and you hear the clicking, clacking of its claws hitting off the ground. Sometimes when you give them a scenario that they've seen in a movie, something that they can relate to more than the words you are saying, they get pulled in a little easier. I don't like to use this as a crutch. I don't like to overuse it. It's just something there's times when you know what you're trying to describe isn't coming across to the table. Every table is different. Every day is different at the table. So let's say someone had woke up a little late, a little grumpy. They're at the table now, not purposely being grumpy, but you can just feel it and the energy at your table is off-putting. So you need to describe things because they're not as into the game as they should, like, not should be. I don't ever want to say that people are supposed to be into the game. Only as much as they want to be. As long as they're there having fun and enjoying themselves. But sometimes you need to have more than just your standard stuff written down on your paper. So I use scenarios from movies, from TV shows, from plays, stuff like that. Music even. Music videos are great places to go find scenarios that you can be like, whoa. And help you write by looking at these different scenarios that go on. So that's what a scenario means to me. It's how I help write the adventure how I 
help coerce the story along. So that is my RPG a day. August 1st, 2021 scenario. That's what scenario means to me in my Dungeons and Dragons setting. So till we talk again, go outside and create something new and explore and live life. But don't ever hurt anybody while you're doing it. Enjoy. Have fun.